So 42 might be the answer to life, the universe, and everything, but is $42 the answer to the missing hole in your Fortnite blaster heart? I don't know, let's find out. So at 42 Bones, the Fortnite Storm Scout is actually one of the pricier models in the Fortnite nerf line from Hasbro. However, this is one of the more unique shells and it looks like it has some featureful add-ons to it. So without any more kind of dillying and dallying about it, it's Fortnite skinned. It comes with no code, surprisingly. It looks like it might have some adjustability to it and uh, it comes with six starts. So this is a very basic bolt action springer, but it might satisfy that sniper sized hole in your armory. Let's take it out of the box and find out. This is the Fortnite Storm Scout, and I was right. I mean, this is a pretty sweet shell. There are a couple of complaints, but we'll get into those. Front to back, it's actually a fixed stock. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. It looks adjustable. It is not. Is it sturdy? Well, you know, it depends on your definition of sturdy. The top definitely bends a little, but you should have it pocketed here. And in that case, it's not that bad. The scope is a standard in-strike attachment scope. However, it's got this molding that kind of fits over the rail bumpers on the rifle itself, leading to it being semi-proprietary. I don't really know. We've gone ahead and popped in both the left and right bolt handles on here, which allows you to prime from either a shouldered or it's a pretty simple prime, you know, whatever direction you want to do it. Has to be re-engaged completely. It is uh, not a return bolt system, so 100% manual there, but overall pretty solid. There's a bolt release button over here. This is if you uh, jam, speaking of which, there's a jam door in here. Very cleanly molded into the lines of the shell. I actually wish Hasbro did all their jam doors this nice, and then it opens up like this, showing you what is effectively a pretty standard elite bolt action system there. Now, you've got all of your control suite in the trigger well. Trigger is pretty standard, no safety on this blaster, and then you've got the magazine release. Now, this is a closed bolt system, which means the bolt has to be open to drop the magazine, and when it does, it's uh, almost a gravity drop. There we are. So let's pop that back into place. Like I said, in-strike rail up top, cartoonishly large muzzle, giving you about a foot and a half of muzzle drag, but what are you gonna do? And then down here, I really hoped this was an in-strike attachment. It's not, it's like a pretend rail attachment. There's absolutely nothing to grip into there. You could maybe 3D print something that locked into these screw ports, but I think that that would be a reach. In this blaster, you're really buying for the Fortnite aesthetic. If you wanted a, uh, hello? Uh, if you wanted a sniper rifle aesthetic, there are a lot of aftermarket performance options in the uh, in the worker catalog, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. So I think that you're going for like cartoony and fun here. Speaking of which, the paint job on this isn't bad. And there's even, is it paint? No, it's two pieces of plastic. Ah, the curse continues. Paint on one side, no paint on the other side, but you get this really cool kind of neon fade aesthetic because the shell has a cut in right here, allowing that. Lines of the blaster are good. Let's take it outside, put it over the chronograph. All right, so we wanted to bring it outside and just get some crony numbers for you. So you know what you can expect in terms of performance? I imagine, well, it just skipped a dart off the water. I imagine that we're gonna be getting something a little under in-strike standard just due to the massive amount of dead space in this barrel. But let's put a couple over. 68, that's not bad. 69, there it is. 73, I was wrong. I was wrong, Fortnite Blaster. Slightly, like right at that uh, that 70 FPS average for Elite Blasters. So, must be doing something right. You know, again, you're really, you're purchasing this at a premium for the Fortnite tie-in, for the shell. I'm not 100% convinced that even if you really like this accessory, and it is a cool accessory, although it is completely hollow, which I've never really liked. I like it when they have some sort of plastic optic in them. You know, I mean, it's it's not a bad buy. If this is your first sniper rifle-esque blaster and you are a smaller foam flinger and the stock doesn't get in your way, then I think that it's okay. One thing worth mentioning is despite being bolt action, which to me says like precision, you know, like breathe out while firing, it does have a panic button built in and you can slam the day away. So a slam fire capable $40 sniper rifle with Fortnite stylings and not nearly enough paint. You guys tell me in the comment section down below. What do you think? My personal opinion is that uh, this one, this one I would wait for a sale. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Much love, blast on, drag out.